What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own pools in Revit architecture. So the first thing that you want to do is figure out where you want your pool. So I just want a nice basic little circle pool right around here. So what I'm going to do is click on my foundation level or just a level that is lower than the rest of your house because we're going to make the walls for the in-ground pool. I'm just going to change my underlay here to first floor so I can see where my house actually is. And now I know I want my pool somewhere over in this area, so I'm going to come here to Architecture, click Wall, and I'm going to just select a generic wall here that I can make whatever type of material I want. And I'm just going to click this Circle tool here, and I'm going to make the Base Constraint Foundation, or however low you want your pool to go. And I'm just going to leave the top height at unconnected for now. And the top constraint I'm going to put at first floor, just so it's right at ground level. And I'm going to click apply. And I'll just draw my pool right here. And I know that my pool is there, so I'm going to click the X. I'm going to click on 3D here, and now I can see my pool. It's actually quite bigger than I expected, so I'm just going to make it a smaller pool here. And I'm just going to move it around. First of all, put in a topo surface if you do not have one. And if you don't know how to do that, you can watch my video on that. I'll put a link in the description. So what we're going to do is split out this grass around this pool here. So I'm going to come here to Massing and Sight. And I'm going to click Split Surface. And I need to make sure I select this grass here. Once it's selected, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use my Pick Lines tool right here, and I'm just going to select this grass all the way around, just like that. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to click the check mark, and then I can switch it right over here. I can change it to water, and I'm going to click OK. And now also what I want to do is make it so the water is not sloping downward like this grass is, and I'm just going to come to the top view click edit surface I'm gonna draw a box around all these points here so it selects all of them I'm just gonna put it at negative two inches just so the water doesn't splash over the side of the pool and I'm gonna click check and these should have actually had a base set base offset of however deep you want your pool so I'm just gonna put it negative 20 it's gonna be a really deep pool now as you can see I have that now what I can also do is add a floor to the pool so that is just the same as adding a floor to anything else I'm gonna to go to architecture floor select these two walls here and then I'm gonna put this at a negative 20 offset just like I did with the walls I'm gonna click apply and then I'm gonna click the check mark and now as you can see I have created a in-ground pool and you can make these any shape that you would like. If this video helped you out please give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.